What's up, booty babes? You got Danita here, and today we're gonna dive into how you can boost your confidence guaranteed with these three tips. So the first one is really your mindset, right? And I loved this quote. I thought it was very great. It's by Alex Hermosi, and he says, you don't just become confident by shouting affirmations in the mirror, but instead by having a stack of undeniable proof that you are who you say you are. Basically what you're doing is you're overworking that self-doubt. And so I love the way that he said that because it is very true, they've done enough science on the brain that if you're trying to tell yourself something but deep down inside you don't believe it, you're not doing yourself any justice there. So it is very important to make sure that what you're saying as far as the affirmations, that you're believing that as well. And in order for you to believe that, we want to really start to put the actions towards becoming that, right? So let's say if you wanted to be a good mom, then instead of in the mindset of saying I'm a terrible mom, that's not gonna do us any good because our mind goes into our feelings and our feelings lead to poor actions and hence why we find ourselves in these perpetual loops. So if you're trying to be a better mom, then the recommendation is to say, I am working on becoming a good mom. So that right there, it, it, it takes out the negativity and it allows you to go into, I'm, I'm in a progression, and you're actually doing something towards it, so that would be a great affirmation, right? So we'll do another one with each other. So let's say you go into the mirror and you're like, I'm beautiful, but when you deep down gut feel, you're just like, I, I'm not beautiful though, right? So the bridge obviously is looking at yourself and making a bridge that is releasing that self-doubt of something you're working towards, so putting action of, well, today I'm working on taking care of myself, putting, making myself a priority to make myself beautiful, to help myself feel beautiful, right? So that's really kind of the step there as far as number one. Number two is setting boundaries on the negative people or the negative areas in your life. So many people maybe might hate their job or really dislike their family or really have a drama that's going on with their friendships. And so the question I have for you is, when we are constantly surrounded with a negative environment, how can you be positive? So it's really about setting those boundaries of, it doesn't mean completely shutting them out of your life, but it would just be, hey, I need to start setting some time and boundaries with these people that are negative and weighing down on myself so that I can bring the negativity down and start to really bring this positivity up. And that's by really setting boundaries. And if you don't know how to say no, you can use this trick, this is what I do, is I go, this is really hard for me to do right now, but I have a goal for myself that I'm really starting to surround myself with positivity. It's really challenging for me to set boundaries, but that's something I'm working on. So if you can help me support me in this decision that I'm doing, but here's my boundary, right? So almost giving it a preface at the very beginning, allows it to kind of go in and say, I'm working on this, I'm working on becoming better, you're gonna actually might inspire someone to also be positive with you. And then the third one is really being brave. What that means is when we are constantly staying in our comfort zone, we don't find ourselves growing and blossoming into the beautiful person that you're meant to become. And so my challenge for you is when you find yourself making a decision of, oh, should I go towards safety, which is a fear driven, or should I go a little bit into the uncomfort or the unknowns? What will happen is you will grow and become stronger. And that will go back to step number one, allowing yourself to break through those self-doubts. So when it's uncomfortable, I give you permission and you give yourself permission to allow yourself to go through those events and find strength in them. Hopefully these help, let me know if it does, and if it doesn't, great ways to become more confident is uh, you can reach out if you have something a little bit more specific. I'm here to support you. Obviously, the reason why I do this is I love supporting women to really look and feel their best because it ripples effects into our world, right? And so um, if you are looking for maybe if it's a workout today or some sort of action, we do have an awesome Booty Bands and Barbells app that's loaded with 15 minute workouts that are great for putting resistance onto a woman's body to give her that more sculpted, toned look. Basically, it is, way better than cardio because instead of burning the muscle, you're gonna be putting on that muscle which is gonna help really start to shred through that, speeding your metabolism. And then over here, if you're looking for products on our site, it's called bootybands.com. Uh, it's a one foot by one foot complete home gym that's perfect for small spaces and definitely great for women that are not wanting a bulky set of equipment but something that is easily fit and designed more for her. So let me know if you have any questions on that too. Leave the comments down below. 
Love, love, love it. And if you um, would like to just share this with a friend, please do so and like and uh, follow down below because I'll be sending out more videos, workout videos, and a lot more. Bye, everyone.